I'm David Adams, and I'm head of GI surgery at the Medical University of South Carolina. I'd like to invite you for the 212 SSAT SAGES, Kelly and Carlos Pellegrini Joint Luncheon Symposium. My presentation title is Biliary Dyskinesia, Does It Exist? If so, how do we diagnose it? Is laparoscopic cholecystectomy effective or a sham operation? Hear what I tell patients who have typical biliary symptoms but no gallstones. You've been having some uh, abdominal pain for about six months. Yes, it's severe pain. It's in, it's in my right side up here, sometimes in the middle. And it comes and goes, but when it comes on, it's very severe. and makes me very sick. A lot of times it goes through to my back, to my shoulder. What this sounds like is just typical uh, biliary tract pain, gallbladder pain in patients who don't have gallstones. And about 20% of the patients I see who have their gallbladder removed with a laparoscopic cholecystectomy don't have stones. And what I tell patients typically is that 20% of Americans have gallstones but only 20% of those cause problems. Now occasionally the stones can block off the gallbladder and cause acute problems, but usually it's dysfunction of the gallbladder, I think, that causes the pain. And uh, perhaps patients who don't have stones will form stones later related to the gallbladder dysfunction. What we found in our experience is that in patients who don't have gallstones, who have typical biliary pain, if we remove the gallbladder laparoscopically, about 80% of them will get better. Now those who don't get better turn out usually to have dysfunction in the bile sphincters downstream from the gallbladder. So well, why don't we check for that first? But we find that if you do that test, which involves a, an endoscopic test to measure pressures in the bile duct, that the complications from that are higher than the complications of removing your gallbladder. Our first step really is to, in patients who have severe biliary pain to take out the gallbladder. If it doesn't relieve the pain, uh, then you could need another test, uh, which we would call an ERCP with a sphincter of OD manometry. And we find that patients who don't get better after this and have sphincter of OD dysfunction will get better with an endoscopic procedure. So there you have it. You just heard what I tell my patients who have suspected biliary dyskinesia, and you heard what my experience is and what my expected outcome. But what is the evidence? Well, when you look at the literature, there's actually one prospective study, one study with level one evidence that has a lot of bias inherent into it. So if you want to hear more about this controversy and learn whether I really am doing a sham operation, come to the Kelly and Carlos Pellegrini Joint Luncheon Symposium at DDW on May 22nd at noontime.